Hello everyone, here is Latam Cavalcante from São Paulo, Brazil. Uh, today we are going to talk about uh, BAPIs for goods receipt against a purchase order. So if you are thinking about to create a program in order to perform automatically a goods receipt against the purchase order, so you should consider using uh, this BAPI in order to perform this task. So this is a quick video just showing how to map this map and how to use it, okay? Uh, so first of all, I have created a purchase order that we are going to use our as test. I have done some tests already. So this is a simple, uh, 100 piece purchase order for quantity for this material. And I have already performed two goods received, okay? So this will be our example. Also, I will present you the BAP that we used for that task, the goods movement create. We're going to use that, okay? So what is the trick? What is the, the problem? Uh, first of all, you must to map this BAPI. You must know which fields you're going to use um, in order to perform this task. So you have the header, you have the goods movement code, and you have the goods movement item. So you have to provide all this information, okay? If you go over here and over here, you'll be able to see all fields. Uh, that's not a quite difficult uh, task to map that. All you have to do is just provide all this information and run the BAPI, test it, and see the result. Uh, depending on the result, you can fix the BAPI, the entries you have provided, and try again. So, uh, today, the idea is to help you to do that faster. Uh, you, do not, you do not need to lose your time trying to map that because I already did it for you. So what I have created over here is a table with the fields you, you should use, okay? So for header, let's go for header. You have a lot of fields. So the minimum information I have provided at least the posting date and document date. So I'm using today's date, okay? Uh, this is the billing document, uh, it's not mandatory field, but I will provide this information, okay? So this one is okay. So the good, goods movement code, you sh if you are working for with purchase or the goods receipt, you should use 1, 01. So I put over here, okay? So our header is totally done. Next step is the item. Uh, item. As you can see, for item, you have a lot of information because this BAPI, Goods Movement Item, uh, Goods Movement Create, you can use that for a lot of movement types. So that's why you have a lot of entries. Uh, this one, I would say, is quite a little bit harder to map, but uh, not quite difficult. So I have done it already. I will have to provide as the yellow, I would say um, the fields you must provide, okay? So you have to provide the, mat the material, the plant, the study location, uh, the, the batch if your material is batch controlled, the movement type is very important, uh, stock type for block to stock or quality, unrestricted use, and so on. Entry quantities, uh, how many quantities, how many pieces would you like to perform your goods receipt? Let's just say I'm just testing with one. What else? Uh, I haven't tested this before. Um, if it is mandatory or not, uh, I will let it to you guys. Try to, to create a goods movement without this information. I am providing this information. Uh, I, I provided here the quantity of my purchase order. It's uh, 100 pieces. The PO number, of course, you must provide, and the PO item. Also, it is not mandatory, but you can provide the name of the, the person who is performing the goods received. So, as you can see, you have a lot of information over here, a lot of fields, but we can, let's see, only that's necessary. Uh, this is very important, the movement indicator. Without this information, your BAPI will not run. 
okay? Try to run without this information, you, you get an error and try again providing this information, okay? Uh, all right, when you create your program, you can do a select based on your PO. Let's just say in your selection screen, you provide the purchase order you would like to process, okay? And the item also. Or let's just say you want to perform the whole good receipt for all items. At least you have to provide the PO number. Based on this information, you can create a selection into your program. To select you, you find all this information into your PO. The material, the plant, the storage location, if it's provided or not. Uh, if you don't have the storage location in your PO, you could provide it on the selection screen. Uh, movement type, uh, as we are working with, with good receipt against the PO, you know already that's one, uh, 101. What else? Stock type, stock type, you can put it on your select screen or you can provide it always on the unrestricted user. The quantity, the quantity, uh, you can put it on your selection screen or you can uh, do the whole, the complete goods received. The, all, it all depends if you are PO or when you are performing the goods received, if you are going to receive everything or you have to split it between two, three or four goods received, okay? Uh, all I'm trying to tell you right now is you can, you don't need to provide all this information in your select screen. You can provide only the PO and the other information can be selected in your PO by the program or the full parameters in your selection screen, okay? No more talking, let's do the action, right? Okay, so what I have done over here, I have created a test dictionary with the information I have just showed you. So I have the posting date, the document date, the reference document number, my goods movement code is 01, and my item. I'm just, just showing you what I have created. Okay? So based on this information, what we're going to do is just test our BAPI. Let's do that. Function moduli. Let's do a test for the test sequence. You already know how to do that, right? Goods movement creates the map we are going to use it and the commit. Why I have to use that? Because I want to commit our transaction. Let's pray. <laughs> Cross your fingers. So I will run. I will go to in my dictionary. Also, I run. Cross my fingers. It has generated a document, that's nice. I go back and I go run for commitment, our transaction. So it should work. I have right now two documents for goods received, right? So I will update my PO and now we have the third one right here. So let's open this document. Uh, all the information I have provided in our BAPI is here. I haven't provided the partner, but, but the BAPI is, has a functionality that goes on the PO information, gets it automatically for you. So the material is over here, the quantity I have provided, just one. I didn't provide the amount, it's automatically. Uh, I have purchased a hundred, but I have received just one. Where? Uh, the my storage location, my plant, the person who has done the good receipt, first stage order, we already know this information. So that's it, that works. So how we have, uh, all we have to do right now is try to, bop, uh, to map your BAPI. Try to perform the same test and after that you can create your program and generate a automatically good receipt. Okay, that's it for today. Thank you very much for watching and see you next time.